Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 21 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Uh, today, I'm at the village that's north-ish of my base, and there's a garbage pile here. And I'm pretty sure garbage piles have a good enough chance. Hey, Mr. Gollum, please don't do that. That would that would be nice. I don't want you killing my rats. I want, I want to be the one killing my rats. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that means that... Excellent. Uh, plague stew, plague leech, rats upgrade, garbage pile. Mm, I kind of want that garbage pile. Where's my shrinky dink, dude? Where are you now, mister? There you are. See the particle effects. Why am I? Why is it impossible to hit him? You think I already got him? I did. Rats played doctor. Got you. Nice. Okay. Cool. Um. So. So the. So the. So the deal with the with the with the rats not picking up items. My thought is this. He is occasionally grabbing an item. So I'm thinking. I wonder if the problem with the rats picking up items is more so the area of effect. Like, it's, it's trying to scan, like, a really large area for items. Like, maybe the default is really high. So if I could if I could adjust that, that would be cool, right? So if we look at rats, and we look at the staff, there is the this guy. Um, rat radius staff. Now, we're going to need plague essence, which is a rare drop from rats. Okay? So uh, I'm, I, I went to this village, and I found... The thing that I was looking for. Come here, you. Rats are fast, but if you sneak when you're approaching them, I don't think they run away as much. There you go. Whoa, boy. Run away from him. Uh, are there more rats? There might be more rats. I see a, a little white speck on my... There he is. Wild rat. Hello, friend. Bye, friend. So I'm trying to get him. Thus far, not any luck. It is affected by looting, it says. Um, now these garbage piles, I'm pretty sure, just spawn rats pretty frequently, which is cool. Um, are those rats to the north of me? No, those are ants. Okay. So I'm just gonna sit here and farm this. Now there's, this was also here, a rat attractor, which, according to the tooltip, will attract wild rats nearby when powered with redstone. Cool. Alright. So that's, you know, I gave it a redstone signal and it's attracting rats, hopefully. So I'm going to let this thing chill here. I'm going to farm some rats and hopefully we'll come back in a few minutes and have the thing that I can use to make the staff. And then I'm going to see if the pickup rat works better if I can adjust the area of effect he's trying to pick items up in. Does that sound like a plan? And then um, whether or not that works, because I already have the other solution, we're going to do some other stuff with rats today and I might want to get into some auto crafting with AE, uh, mostly because now that I have the wool, I can really, you know, amp up our... Uh, apply the logistic system with better cabling and we can look into doing some auto crafting and really start automating things because you know that's what the dire series is always all about all the automations all right so back in a few also quick note i've noticed that rats have a tendency to spawn more at night than during the day i don't know if that's true for the attractor and the rat pile um but it can't hurt to you know try so I'm, that's why I'm doing this at night, because I noticed spawning in the world, they tend to spawn more at night than during the day. New plan. I wonder if there's any rats in the hyperbox dimension. Hmm. Possibly. Possibly not. I don't know. Uh, I noticed this thing, it seemed to be spawning a lot, but then, like, it's not as much anymore. So I don't know what's that about. Maybe just bad RNG. But I'm going to wait uh, and see if any spawn in here. I just moved them in here. I want to see if I can, like... Maybe have my golem deal with them. Because remember, he has a looting sword too. That said, I should note my golem's armor is really low. And the sword is getting there. So uh, we're going to have to figure out a better solution for mob farming at some point. But rats can do some stuff. So yeah. Alright, I found a reliable way to spawn many rats. <laughs> so pedestals. Uh, did I do this on camera? Uh, there, there's a growth upgrade for pedestals. Oh boy, that's a lot of wrath moving right now. Okay, you can you can probably stop for a minute, sir. Okay. Uh yeah. So there's there's a there's a growth upgrade for pedestals. 
uh, this guy, Fertilizer Upgrade, he's actually called. And he forces random block ticks on crops. And I took a quick peek at the code uh, for how garbage piles work, and they work on random growth ticks, like seeds do. So uh, I just I just placed that there, and we got a lot of rats really quickly. Uh, so now I'm going to harvest them all. And if that works, cool. And if it doesn't, I'm probably going to wind up moving that into a place that will probably be a little bit more compact, like the place I was just in. And that should be cool. Uh, the rat attractor, by the way, attracts existing rats to the area. Ah, I looked at the code for that one, too. I was like, this thing isn't spawning rats. Yeah, no, that's not what it does. It doesn't spawn rats. It attracts rats. Uh, so if there's a rat nearby, it will move the rat to its position. Okay. Um, that's what the attractor does. Uh, but the, uh, the garbage piles is what spawns them. Honeyed Archer. I love those. Those are so cool. All right. So let's, uh, let's actually move you, sir. Uh, you can go away and 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 that should be cool. All right. You're with me. Uh, any other rats that I missed? No, I think we're good. All right. So you go away and you go away and you go away and you go away and you 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 and you. Perfect. All right. Let's, uh, let's bring this into our little compact room our hyper box and see how things go, okay? So if we bring this in here, okay, and then we set up in this guy a garbage pile, boop, okay? And then why am I missing a pedestal? I thought I had a pedestal. Well, it looks like he already spawned one, so that's cool. Now, are you gonna deal with that, Mr. Gollum? I guess not. Gollum doesn't seem to want to... Does he only attack hostile mobs? Humanoid Gollum will wander. Will stay, will follow you, will wander. Maybe he only attacks hostile mobs. Okay, that's okay. Uh, in fact, I might want him to take a break. So you're with me, buddy. Uh, I would like to spawn those rats more quickly. So let's get a pedestal. Okay. And you're going to shift right click, positions cleared, first and second position. Okay, now you have a fertilizer upgrade. Can increase speed, can increase range, can add super speed. Let's speed him up. Yes, I like that plan. I think we should do that. So you out here. Um, so if we wanted to increase speed on him, ooh, super speed is nether star, so we're gonna do that. But speed, let's get four diamond blocks and some obsidian. How are we for diamond blocks? Eh, I could probably spare. Well, maybe not that many. How about two and some obsidian? We'll start with that uh, and then we'll go, you know, ahead. So is it this and this and this and here? No, it's diamond on the left. My bad. All right, now you should be good. Cool. Cool. Okay. So 20 out of 40. So halfway sped up. Now, if I put the pedestal down and we put this in our offhand, boom. Put this in our offhand, boom. We should see little particle effects happening there. And that's going to start spawning rats even quicker, in theory. Uh, and we can see this by doing that. You'll see what's highlighted, right? So there's your wild rat. Cool. All right. Now I need to farm these guys because I need um, I need I need that drop so that I can mess with the range. So I'll come back in a sec. All right. And I think you can probably tick accelerate this. <laughs> Feels better, right? Yeah, it definitely feels faster. Definitely cool. As much as I love the rats, I need this rare drop from them. So, I mean, there's nothing I can do here except have to do this. So we'll come back when I hopefully get the drop I need. Oh, there's a blade rat. That's cool. Blade rats are nasty. 
Okay, be right back, like I said. All right, it finally dropped. Plague Rats are the ones that drop it, by the way. It's a rare drop from Plague Rats. Um, so I got one. That's cool. All right, so I'm going to stop you from happening anymore. And But at least we have a cool way to uh, automate rat creation now, right? That's neat. All right, despite the fact that I have the plague at the moment, <laughs> um, I did get I did get this thing. So I'm going to try it to see if uh, if it wants to behave. Now, I, I did speak with the mod author briefly, uh, and they mentioned that it's just vanilla pathfinding is just super wonky. Uh, and they're working on it. They're trying to get the, the pickup rat to behave a little bit better. But hey, at least the other rats are good, right? Where are you at, buddy? There you are. Okay, so your job now will be to... Gather items, right? And you're going to cheese staff into deposit items on the south side. Now, if I wanted to, I will hopefully be able to... Oh, my goodness, look at you. Well, that's not the right button. Staff is now bound to rat. Oh, my goodness, what is up with this? There we go. Also, that is really hard to see. <laughs> I get it, but it is tricky. Okay, that's the thing. All right, so now he should pick up anything inside that radius. But again, it's it's vanilla pathfinding that's being wonky here. Um, so we'll make sure that you're off. Uh, and then hopefully gather items as your current command. And we'll see what happens. He doesn't seem to be very particularly fast about it. Come on, Plague. Go away, you're the worst. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking it's not the radius thing that was the problem. Yeah. Alright, new idea. If pathfinding is the problem, maybe pathfinding can be the solution. I need more feathers though. More chickens, please. Looking on the map for chickens. Wherefore art thou chickens? my kingdom for a chicken you know i went and got like the i went and got a thing with the express intention of being ready here just get a few more while we're at it i guess That'll be enough right yeah that'll do yoink and then you can turn into flight upgrades which could be cool so in theory if pathfinding is the problem for Mr. 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 Rat, where'd you go? Where, where indeed? He got lost again. He gets lost sometimes. He's got to be around here somewhere. Where'd you go, buddy? How'd you get in there? I don't even know how you got in there. Is that cool? Uh, okay. Well, that was definitely better. But you know what's funny? He's not flying. But look, he's definitely way better, right? Um, but he's not hes not flying, which is interesting. <laughs> uh, so he's got the flight upgrade. He's definitely behaving a little bit better. So what if I put, like, an item up here? I want you to pick up that item. Do you think you can handle that? I... I don't know. We're just having fun experimenting with rats today. That's what we're doing. And then we'll get to something, uh, you know, more more, more cool. Uh, if I put an item there? Yeah. All right. So interestingly enough, and, and, and this is just weird to me, right? He is, like, way better with the flight upgrade. However, uh, he is not flying. <laughs> rat upgrade flight uh and putting items around and he seems to be moving slower too i don't know i don't know if that's like normal rat speed but he definitely seems slower but he's behaving really well uh i think this is inside his area maybe not um what if i did can he get up there and get that? He doesn't seem able to. But as soon as I do that, yep, he's cool. 
All right, I want to try something, uh, mostly just for the sake of trying something. And that's what we're going to do right now. So I need six of these cakes. Okay, uh, I know we've got more eggs than that. There we go. I think we have, a, I think we have enough eggs for the six cakes that we want. But more, more eggs should be on my to-do list for sure. Okay, so that's five cakes. And now that'll be six cakes. Cool. And now I can turn those cakes into a rat upgrade chef with the chef tool. Uh, and these things are cool because uh, I'm pretty sure that we can do this. You ready? Uh, I'm going to go out here. I'm going to get a bunch of potatoes. And pop down here. And the potatoes can be used to make uh, rats. What's it called? This thing. Assorted vegetables. Boom. Okay. Cool. Now, I can give this guy the chef upgrade. He's also not rendering the chef upgrade hat. Interesting. Now, if I give you... Can I give you one? Will, will you eat that or are you going to process that? I don't know. Uh, do I need to put you in a mode? Stay here. How about stay here? Yeah, stay here should be fine. If I toss you that, what are you going to do about that, Mr. Rat? Anything? Interesting. I'm going to try gather items again. Put him in that mode. I really want him to take that because if we, if we give him the chef rat, assorted vegetables he should make confit vialdi which is a super good food wow. he's also supposed to have a little hat on and i'm wondering why he doesn't have a little hat on yeah interesting wow. hmm. so i gave him the veggies and now he's making it wow. so that's cool also, if you place the rat on top of a chest, he will automatically insert whatever he's making into that chest. So that uh, is a way we can get this going. Now, this food is, like, super good. Whoa, challenge complete. Anyone can cook. That's true. Synesthesia, huh? That's an interesting one. Uh, that's cool. What is that? I don't, I don't love that you're doing that. Plus one attack speed. I don't like that you made my screen all yellow, though. I remember that being really good food, but I don't like the, I don't like that. Uh, I wonder if I can drink a milk bucket to help with that. Come here, cow. Oh, there we go. Holy cow, that was cool. Oh, <laughs> that's a cool effect. I ain't gonna lie, I like it. I just don't like my screen being yellow all the time. Woo! That is that is trippy. That is cool. Uh, let's try this. Okay, I might need to close. Control. There's a there's a config option, client side config option that should turn that off. Let me come back. All right. There we go. Yes. So there's a config option to turn that off if you don't want it, but you do still get particle effects, which aren't my favorite. Well, either way, uh, the good news is that this rat is 100% doing his job. So I put all my rats away into the AE system in jars. Uh, so we've got a bunch of rats in here, tamed rats. Uh, what I'm going to do is let this guy do his job. And look, he's carrying the shears like he's supposed to now. Yeah, something's up with the, with the rendering of the upgrades. It's a little bit wonky still. There might be some mod com issues uh, with the rendering. But I cleaned up my basement. And now I want to get into probably auto crafting because that's probably the next thing. I'm going to spend a little time on it, but I'm not going to do a whole ton with it. I mean, you know, over the course of the episodes, we'll be doing the occasional auto crafting bit. But let's get started with auto crafting today because that's going to be the next major upgrade for us in terms of uh, being able to, to, to automate and do some good things in the pack, right? So let's get started. First, I want to put away all this lovely experience that I have. And then we can look and do auto crafting. So I'm going to start with a 4K crafting storage. 
Um, so to craft with A2, to auto craft, you need three things. You need a crafting unit for every auto crafting recipe that's going to run at a time. So if you only have one of these, you can only do one auto craft at once. If you have four of them, you can do four different crafts at once. Um, and the higher tiers, like 1K versus 4K versus 16 versus 64K, will allow you to craft more complex sets of recipes. So like a 1K can do like three or four things in a row leading up to a final result, but like a 64K can do like way more things together. So that's better. Uh, you can also co-processor it, which, which is an add-on which allows it to do multiple crafts at once. So like say you were making a chest and it needed to turn like oak wood into planks and then planks into chests, what it would do would uh, you know do the um, oak wood into planks and planks into chests would be like separate steps, right? Um, let's say you wanted to do torches and you wanted to turn oak wood into oak planks, oak planks into sticks, and then at the same time you want to turn oak logs into charcoal, right? With a coprocessor, it would be able to do the charcoal and the oak logs into planks at the same time, right? If you had one coprocessor in there, it would let you do those two steps at once. So let's start off by getting uh, a 4K crafting unit. I'm just going to get one of them for now, and then we'll expand out because I don't know how much stuff I have. But the, the sooner we get auto crafting up and running, the better. Okay. And we're also going to need crafting units, which is cool. And that's going to be one thing. Okay. The other thing I'd like to do is check out how am I for cables? Not great, not terrible. Uh, we could upgrade these guys into uh, smart cables. And that's 100% a good idea uh, to think about doing. So I'm going to do that right now. We're going to do that. And then we're going to upgrade you to smart cables. And smart cables let you see what channels are in use and how many. So if I were to get a, uh, a wrench here, okay, boop, 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 and we removed this dude, and we instead put a smart cable here, we would see there are two channels in use, okay? Um, each side of these can support, is it 32 channels, right? Um, so 32 channels on this face, 32 channels on that face, 32 channels on that face. And this semi-controller can be multi-blocks, right? And every device that does something will use, um, will use a channel, right? So this wireless access point is using a channel and you'll see that there's one channel over here. There's one channel going down and there's two here, right? The, the second channel is this guy. So he's using a channel. Okay, real quick, AE2 primer for those of you who may be relatively new to this mod. Um, I'm assuming most people know this by now, uh, but again, this, this series is designed for folks who may be new to modded Minecraft and don't know all these things. This side of the face, we have four channels in use. Uh, and the reason is, is because we have, um, let's see, we've got, what, what, what channels are in use over here? So we've got uh, the storage bus on the storage controller. We've got the import bus on the ender chest. We've got uh, the ME drive, and then we've got the terminal up top. So those are the four that are in use, right? Basic cables like these can transmit a total of eight channels. Uh, and then there's uh, dense cables that can do 32. So that would be these guys, right? They can do 32 channels. So if you wanted to, for example, have like, you know, eight things over there and eight things over there, you'd run a dense cable across, that would be 32, and then eight to the left and eight to the right, and that would that would get you going, okay? So being able to see visually how many channels are in use is important because as you expand your AE system, you're gonna be adding more and more things, and eventually you may run out of channels, and then those things won't work. So you need to make sure that you handle that. Now, me personally, I like this mini game, right? This is a mini game that you need to play, to, to, to build out your AE system in a smart way. There's a lot of people who don't like that, and that's okay. And that's why refined storage exists and is in the pack. Refined storage doesn't have channels. Refined storage is just you place it down and things go. I like having to think out and redesign my AE system. I never do it very well, but I like that I'm supposed to. Uh, I, I, I like the extra challenge that it adds. So, you know, if you don't like, if that sounds too complex for you, look into refined storage. It's totally in the pack for a reason. It's a very good mod and it does very similar things, but without the channel complexity. Okay, cool. All right, with that said, let's get going. So now I'm gonna start working my way towards the auto crafting mechanics that we're gonna want. And I'm gonna stick them over here for the time being, okay? 
And the first thing I'm gonna place down is that 4K crafting storage. And you'll know it's working if it like changes texture when you place it, cool. Um, pretty cool. And there's a, there's a help guide in here that will explain things a lot too, if you so desire. Uh, but for now, that is taking up one channel, as you can see on the tooltip and the, the little rendering. It's probably hard to see, but there's a little line there. Now we need uh, to auto craft. We need patterns and pattern terminals. Okay. So I like this to go above here. So I'm going to stick up a cable and we're going to make a pattern terminal. And this dude is what's going to allow us to take, um, take recipes and program them so that the AE system knows how to make them. Cool, so I'm gonna make an ME terminal. I'm gonna make a crafting terminal. And I'm gonna make a pattern terminal. And that's how you encode patterns. Um, do we still have some facades? We do, so that's cool. All right, not, not too shabby. So this is how you encode patterns. There's two ways to do it, uh, well, a few ways, but you can do regular crafting patterns, you can do processing patterns, which are basically like machines. So like this is I'm making a chest like I would in a regular crafting table. This is I'm making something other than a regular crafting table, like oak wood turning into charcoal by going into a furnace, right? Or, or dust from ores, right? That kind of stuff. And then there's, ooh, smithing table patterns and stone cutting patterns and all kinds of good times. Uh, in order to get that going though, we need patterns themselves. Uh, and those are not too shabby, right? They're just this. So let's get uh, you blank patterns that'll do for now i'm gonna put that in there and we're gonna encode that cool uh and then i think i'm also gonna encode this guy but i want this to be glass so i should be able to just get regular glass and drag it in here perfect okay and that's quartz glass okay now the next thing we need is somewhere to make that uh and that would be we're gonna need a pattern provider I want to you and one of you okay and then a molecular assembler which needs another one of you we're gonna need some sand how am I for sand not great in there one of these days we'll get around to sand that should be better Cool. Uh, and then I was going to do a uh, assembler, right? So you. And I'll just make a bunch of these because I know we're going to need some more in the future. Okay. So pattern providers are a way for the AE system to put a pattern into some kind of machine, right? So if you wanted to uh, do a furnace recipe, you would put the pattern provider adjacent to the smelter. If you wanted to do, uh, let's say, a slice and splice, you would put it up there and it would put the items into the adjacent block, okay? I'm gonna do some regular crafting table things. Now you can't use a regular crafting table for this, but you can use a molecular assembler, which is a block from Applied Logistics 2 that lets you autocraft things. So by placing this next to the molecular assembler, we can insert patterns in here. And I can now say, I would like more patterns, please. And it'll tell me if I have the right amount of items, right? So we have four glass available. Uh, we have iron, that stuff, and that stuff, and that stuff, and that stuff all available. So first we have to make quartz glass using glass and certus quartz. And then once we've crafted the quartz glass, we're gonna use glowstone, iron ingots, and charged certus to make the blank pattern. Now I think we can use regular certus for the blank pattern. So if we want to change that out, we should. I'm going to go up here. If I put this in here, it should bring in that dude. And then we can change out which Certus Quartz to use and record it. And now it should be cool. And now we'll use regular Certus rather than charged Certus. So now if I ask for uh, a pattern, you'll see it's using regular Certus. And if I hit start here, you'll see very quickly it did the thing and it made the blank patterns for me. How cool is that? All right, so uh, I know that 90% of people watching this understand how that works, but 
Dyer likes to explain things in his Let's Play series. My other series are for those who are more advanced and I do less explaining, but when I'm doing a new concept, I like to kind of make sure people understand how complex things work. Uh, so that is auto crafting in a nutshell. It's basic, but it'll get the job done. Um, so now I'm probably gonna want uh, more uh, pattern dudes. Uh, so we're gonna want to know how to make you, uh, right? Now there should be a pattern, what, what, what's the name of the terminal thingy that I want next? It's the pattern encoding terminal, crafting terminal, ME terminal, pattern access terminal. This one's, this one's super cool. Uh, I'm gonna want just an illuminated panel here. Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna want my, this dude, which is gonna need more of these, which needs more Certus or Fluix Dust. I'm gonna sag mill up a little bit of that stuff. Let's make sure that you're not, good, you're not inserting into the adjacent, beautiful. Was it this one we needed? Ah, I forget already. That's all right. We're going to need a bunch of them anyway, so it'll be fine. Nope, it was this one we needed. I'm going to get a few of them. But one of them is specifically going to go towards making this thing. And if I put this here and I put that there. And then I wanted uh, another one of these facades for for the cable for that yeah so let's do this okay and then you guys put this guy again i can cover that up and i can cover this up over on that side connected textures don't work that's a bummer um but i don't know that there's a lot we can do about that uh life goes on is what I'll say. If I wanted to, I could make like all of these facades and then you kind of wouldn't know that I was doing that, right? Like I could make, right? Can I just, uh... yeah. And then that and that and that. Is this a ridiculous solution to this problem? Probably. Eh, it's not great. It's not terrible. You can see the lighting is off a little bit. Uh, that would be uh, huh. ambient occlusion. Now, who came to visit? Oh, it's a plague doctor. Okay, I'll see what you have for sale, buddy. Are you in the wall? Come on. There you are. Uh, anything good? Mm. Oh, there's that rare drop that I needed. Ooh, a plague dome, very rare drop from Plague Rats. Transforms a plague doctor into the Black Death. I am capturing you, sir. I absolutely am. Do I have my shrinky dude? For the future, I would like you to be captured. Cool, that's plague doctor. And then you and you can just give me your drops. Sweet. All right. So now the pattern terminal lets me access those molecular, those those pattern dudes, these things remotely. So now I can remotely access this. And if I wanted to, I can come down here. This is usually how I start my AE system, right? So now these three can all interact with this molecular assembler. This thing can only craft one thing at a time, but it crafts really, really fast. So when as we're starting out, that'll be sufficient, right? And now I have a bunch of terminals that I can access. That works for me, right? That's not terrible. All right, for now, let's wrap on a point, though. So, Daryl 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and uh, continue with automation. I got some really good food today. I got to play a little bit more with rats. I want to see, uh, I want to do more with rats in the future. I think most of the rats work pretty good, but some of them are a little bit wonky, and some of it might be Daryl 20 pack. Uh, there's some other mod in here interfering with some things. So we'll see if we can get that fixed. For now, take it easy.